Hey guys! So I got some better lighting and I'm using a real camera versus my little camera on my laptop so hopefully you can see me better. Um, so I've been wanting to do a video about the Duwatt palette that I won from Elisa Eldridge. Um, who I love, love, love her. I watch all of her makeup tutorials. She's amazing. Um, and she was having a holiday giveaway on her YouTube channel and I won! So it came in the mail with a handwritten note, which was exciting. I wonder if she really wrote it. I'm just gonna think that she did. It says, Dear Laura, hope you enjoy using the palette. Lots of love, Lisa. Aww. So that was nice. Um, the packaging is really fun. So it looks like this, and it's the Doo Wop Peacock palette. It's a fun little, it's plastic, but it looks metal. And my only complaint, and I read this about the reviews on this product when I, uh, when I opened it, the little um, cream blush right here, the little pan had popped out and it was sticking to the mirror. So that wasn't very fun. But anyways, I haven't used it yet. You can see marks because I swatched it. Um, and I'm going to add that picture to this video, either in the beginning or the end, so you can see the swatches of these colors. They're awesome colors. You can see that. So this right here, so you get six eyeshadows. This right here is, um, it's called Double Glow 7, and it's like a creamy highlighter. And then this is a cream blush, so I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna do some sort of eye with this right now. Um, I already did my base, um, which I tried number seven, which is also a Lisa Eldridge recommendation. She actually helps make the number seven. I don't know if she's um, like creative director or exactly what her role is with number seven, but it's um, her stuff. So it's the number seven soft and sheer tinted moisturizer in Fair. Um, I just got it at Target and it was cheap and I like it. Um, very moisturizing. Um, the color matched me pretty good. I think there were only two. I think it comes in Fair and Medium, so I did the Fair. Um, and then I did my Clinique Airbrush Concealer in four just under my eyes, where I have my lovely dark circles. Um, so, I'm gonna do something fun with the palette. Um, first, I'm gonna start with my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I'm gonna use this as a base primer kind of deal. So I'm gonna put that all over my lids. I'm obsessed with these paint pots, they're awesome. You can use these real neutral colors um, as like a cream based primer and it makes your eyeshadow last all day. Or you can use the paint pots all by themselves, like the more pigmented ones and colored ones. So I'm gonna put a little underneath too because we're gonna put some shadow down there. I have no idea what kind of eye I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna test out the new palette and I'll figure something out. All right, so I'm wearing Brown and tan, so let's go with my outfit. I think I'm gonna use, oh, let me tell you the colors in here. So, this is bright teal, olive, and navy. And then this is deep lavender, bronze, and chocolate. And I think I'm gonna do the bronze and chocolate. Do an eye with that. So, I'll start with the bronze. And I'll use my handy dandy Cheapy Target Sonia Kashuk brush. And do that all over my lid. Kind of press it in. Oh, it's pretty. Very pigmented. I'm not familiar with the Duwatt brand at all. I've never even heard of it. Um, I didn't hear about it until I watched Lisa's video, so. I have no experience with these eyeshadows, but. They look pretty. It's a very like coppery bronze color. It has quite a bit of shimmer in it. So there's just the bronze. And I'm gonna use my MAC 224 to kind of soften up the edges. Okay, 
and handy dandy MAC 217. Okay, I love this brush so much that I went out and bought another one and painted the little tip white because I needed one for light colors and dark colors. Just because I find that no matter how well you wash, like especially a white haired brush like this, um, if you use one for dark colors, no matter how well you wash it, I feel like there's still some left behind and then I hate dipping it and trying to use it with a light color and getting streaks of the darker color. It drives me nuts. So I went and got one specifically for light colors because um, it's the best blending brush ever. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this dark chocolate color. I'm gonna kinda go here and make my little V right at the corner and take it up into the crease too. Ooh, I'm liking these two colors together. A little bit more. This one's also very shimmery, has a lot of sparkle in it, so if you don't like that, then sorry. <laughs> okay, chocolate on the other side. up into my crease or socket line it's a really pretty color I'm liking this I like shimmery you know sometimes not every day I don't discriminate I like me some matte I like shimmer I like satin I like all eyeshadow so far, so good. And then I'm gonna actually take my little MAC pencil brush. Oh, I don't, I think it's a 240. I don't know, it's rubbed off, but it looks like this. It looks like a pencil, hence the name. Um, and I learned this from Lee Eldridge too, is take your darkest color that you're working with, get a little bit on there, and line the bottom lash line. So, liner. You know what? I'm going to kind of soften these edges up. I'm going to take my 224 again and kind of blend these edges out. You know, I don't like the harsh lines. Blend, blend, blend. Um, eyeliner. I'm going to use Teddy by MAC. It's their eye coal. Uh, their eye coals are a little softer, kind of easier to smudge. Then their eye pencils. Their eye pencils are harder. I really like their eye coal. It goes on a lot easier. You don't have to worry about it being perfect because I'm gonna go in and smudge it with a brush. I'm gonna do the bottom waterline too. Okie doke. Now, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown eye smudge brush, um, smudge that liner. You don't have to, I just like to, because I think it softens it, and again blends it with the rest of the eye makeup a little bit. There's a little bit of fallout from this shadow, um, and that sparkle shimmer, you know, you don't want glitter underneath your eyes, so make sure you clean that up. I forgot a Q-tip. Normally I would use a Q-tip, but I can just kind of use my finger. 